I am Charlotte Stevens and the Ancestors, and I am a neurodivergent Black woman. I live with bipolar 2, ADHD, PMDD, and CPTSD. In December of 2021, I was having a discussion with my children about how I was losing my battle with bipolar 2. At the time, I didn't even know that I had all those other mental health conditions. I just knew that I was not able, I could not figure out how to navigate my bipolar two. I was able to come out of six weeks of suicidal depression. And during that time, I realized that in order for me to treat my bipolar two, I was gonna to have to completely overhaul the way I was living my life. I was going to have to prioritize making sure that I got the sleep that I needed every night. I was going to have to make sure I ate healthy meals that were good for my brain. I was going to have to do work that didn't stress me out. I was an anti-racist consultant at the time. That work I couldn't do anymore. I had to completely do something different that was going to sustain me. I had to cater to my neurodivergence instead of trying to thrive in a neurotypical world. I was going to have to make my world work for me and that was going to require an enormous amount of energy. But that's what I knew it would take for me to be well and not in my life and deprive my children of their mother. That being said, most neurodivergent black women don't have that luxury. I was fortunate enough that years before I, I had the resources to invest in business coaching. And so I knew how to start a business from home and make sure that it catered to my neurodivergence instead of working against me. But the average neurodivergent black woman is struggling to hold down her job. These jobs are catered to center cisgendered, able-bodied white men. And nothing about that is looking out for neurodivergent black women. As a result, we are a community that is often um, financially in crisis. Oftentimes we're dealing with being unhoused. Uh, we, we are sexually abused, we are physically abused. Sometimes we're dealing with drug and alcohol abuse in order to uh, self-medicate. A lot of us don't have resources as far as being able to seek the medical, um, the mental health care that we need. And what I want is for black women to be able to have a very healthy lifestyle so they don't have to be reliant on medication in order to make ends meet. Because a lot of times medication is not enough. Right? You still need a lifestyle that centers your well-being, that centers your ability to be as rested as you need to be and to eat the food you need and take the nature walks and to be able to de-stress and replenish. And these black women don't have the resources in order to invest in themselves the way that they need to. So I offer business and empowerment coaching for neurodivergent black women. This is a population that desperately needs what I have to offer, but often can't afford it. And so I'm asking you, I am begging you to donate to this fundraiser that will help neurodivergent, get neurodivergent black women get empowerment and business coaching. Because most of us walk around undiagnosed or, or misdiagnosed, we internalize what we feel are our failures and that can really erode how we feel about ourselves and that's a problem. In addition to that, we are often suffering economically where it's very difficult for us to maintain employment because these jobs are not conditioned to look out for black women, let alone black women with mental health conditions. So I am counting on you to help neurodivergent black women like me uh, so that we don't have to have conversations with our children about losing our battles with our mental health. If I hadn't had the privilege of being able to take business coaching classes and then start my own business to cater around my neurodivergence, I would not still be here today. I don't say that in jest. I don't say that for dramatic effect. I say it because I have been dealing with mental health issues and suicidality since I was 10 years old. I had to find a way to sustain myself and keep my sanity at the same time. A lot of black women are losing that battle. What the studies show is that suicides were at all time high last year. The rates are going up for black women. We are suffering in silence. There's a lot of stigma around mental health. There is very little resources for us and very few black women have the resources to seek help. We're going to die without your help. It's that serious. We are some of the most vulnerable and neglected people in the United States and we need your help. So. If Find the resources to donate to this fundraiser and know that you are helping some of the most neglected and mistreated and most vulnerable people in the country, in the world. Neurodivergent Black women are counting on you. And again, if I didn't have these skills, I, was, I wouldn't be here. I'm 
grateful that I'm still here, but who else is going to die while we are neglecting Black women? Donate and thank you.